Um, it, it won't be it won't be long before uh, before you can have batteries that last uh, the length of the duration, um, which in some ways is a pity because I think you, you need actually you know it makes it more exciting for people to be racing from one car to another um, halfway through. Um, but um, but from uh, from the public's point of view, obviously this you know the sooner we can get uh, battery technology to go this fast and last that long, um, the better. Um, uh, and it will happen. Um, uh, well, we compete with Tesla in space, and who's to know? Uh, watch this space one day. Maybe <laughs> we'll compete with them with electric cars. We'll see. There was another one over here. No, one yet. Richard, Kim McNicholas with Tech Drive and also the Extreme Tech Challenge. And with the Extreme Tech Challenge finals just having taken place on Necker Island, you know. Obviously, cutting edge technologies are on your mind. So, uh, what is it about these cars? What is so cutting edge about these cars that you hope to see applied on the roadways fairly soon? Um, I think I might pass uh, pass to the other two on that. But I mean, I, it, I think that you know, just a lot of members of the public do not realise that electric cars can go 140 miles an hour. Um, a lot of members of the public don't realise that electric cars can be sexy um, and um, and you know and, and these cars are, are, are all of that and um, and you know it's through these sort of pioneering uh, events that you know pe people around the world would think well maybe my next car could be electric um, and why and why not um, and it's up to manufacturers to realize that you know they've got to get on they've got to pull it they've got to just get out there and start making more electric cars because um because uh, i think that the, the demand is definitely there for them um but on the specifics i don't know if anybody wants to add anything sure um so there are a number of key technologies uh, the energy density of batteries is, is key and i think that's uh, one of the things that we'll find accelerating very quickly um, certainly the technologists that are working on our program believe that we can accelerate at uh, about 8% per year and, and that's really phenomenal uh, acceleration in that sector. Uh, the inverters, uh, the drivetrains, um, gearboxes or lack of gearboxes, um, you know, most people I think will be probably taking the gearboxes out. You can have one motor because you have very, very high amounts of torque um, and this provides great uh, uh, great efficiencies. I think that the key thing here is uh, with an electric car you do not need fuel. Uh, you're not turning fuel into energy and then turning that into motive force. You're just taking that energy uh, without having to drag around an engine with you and you're turning that into uh, motive force. The, uh, the basic function of an electric car is three times more efficient. You'll have about 30% efficiency turning uh, fuel from uh, a petrol or a diesel car. Uh, into motive force, it's over 90% efficient with an electric car. So if we really want to look after our, our planet, we need to look after the energy far better and this will do that. Developing um, uh, battery technology which allow us to go further uh, and charge more quickly and having drivetrain systems which use that uh, um, energy more efficiently is really what it's all about. So it's those things, those key technologies uh, that the series that uh, Alejandro and his team and the FIA have uh, pointed our focus as uh, manufacturers at. So that's the main thing. And just to reiterate um, Sir Richard's point, uh, what we're doing here is we're driving that demand. Certainly there is demand for uh, electric vehicles now, but you know, if we make them sexy, if we show people that they can go super fast, if we um, show people that you, know, you can charge these things very, very quickly. One of the technologies that we have uh, with Qualcomm, which is another of uh, Richard's partner and, and his satellite business, um, they're developing a charging system which you don't have to plug in for. At the moment, we all take it for granted that you stop at a petrol station. You know, where is my petrol station for my electric car? With Qualcomm's technology, you don't need to stop at a petrol station ever. Uh, because you know you park your car in your garage or outside in your on the street you don't even need to plug in it will um, charge up with inductive charging if you're stopped at a traffic light somewhere you'll sit there and a bluetooth thing will take on board maybe a kilowatt of power how cool is that you never have to stop at a charging station ever again we'll take one final question it's funny i, 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 I somebody told me this the, the other day and i was having over lunch yesterday i was explaining uh, how you could charge just on the road or at a, at a light and the people thought, as, uh, people thought, it, I must have dreamt, had a fun, strange dream. But yeah, it is true. Yeah, but it's true. Welcome. Right. I've got it. Eliza, Eliza, Eliza.